Hello, welcome to this new features video for MagiCAD 2.16.11 for Revit. In this video we're going to look at the new enhanced MagiCAD cabling, cable packet and circuiting features. So you can see there's normal, let's put it onto a power circuit and choose the uh, panel board you want it to go onto. Our new contextual tab allows you to go straight into the um, circuit properties directly from clicking on the object and then the circuit properties menu will now uh, appear. In here we can set some properties for this new circuit. Uh, we're just going to choose a wire type for this lighting circuit and we'll choose something we're not actually going to use as a wire type later on to see how the the new uh, alignment and consistency tool works with circuiting and wires. So let's we'll add a number to that circuit and then press OK. And then now we're going to merge parameters. What this does is create a uh, uh, an ID for cable and circuits um, to be used later for uh, the labeling of the uh, wires and circuits on the cable packets. You can see here uh, there's circuit number seven and you can see in the properties if we scroll down here that we have um, some wire type as defined in the circuit properties and you can also see the number cable ID and circuit ID uh, as provided there. So next we need to draw some wires from the uh, uh, luminaires themselves and connect them to a cable packet. So again we'll choose a different wire type uh, than stated on the circuit properties. So we'll connect from there into the uh, cable packet like so. And you can see when that connects in uh, there's some uh, tip marks which will obviously denote the uh, uh, the properties of the conductors in there, so with 111 um, in line with the wire type we've chosen and so is the type properties you can see there the MagiCAD uh, tip marks align as well so when we go into the um, the wire types you'll see it's got the same parameters as the circuit apart from the wire type is uh, not the same uh, that's the whole point of this tool we can start aligning and becoming consistent with the uh, wire types and the installation codes. So at this point we'll just uh, tag the um, cable packet and you can see here it's put in the, uh, the cable types that are contained in this cable packet from the circuits on it uh, in that label and you can see here as normal just have the, uh, the weights and total area of the bundle of cables in the cable packet. Um, but now we'll go um, back into the circuit properties and again we'll change the uh, the wire type uh, once more to a different wire type uh, altogether um, just to show you what happens when we go to a different wire type and how we uh, run the tool for it to um, align all the types together so you can see now that you can see the circuit has that wire type but the wire itself does not. Hit update wire data from the drop down menu and you'll see that the wire itself now updates which is great so we can see that the wire type matches the circuit which is onto the cable packet and the number of hot conductors there you can see is also changed to match the wire type should you wish to display that and also in the type parameters there and then finally all we need to do is um, look at the cable packet, update that and you can see that also now updates with the right um, cable data and then finally we're just going to tag the cable packet for the uh, circuit references of all the circuits that are contained on that cable packet itself which is shown now. So as you can see everything's now all aligned and that's the end of this webinar, thank you.